NordVPN and ProtonVPN are widely popular VPN picks, but you don't need both now, do you? That's what this NordVPN versus ProtonVPN comparison is for. I'll put them to the test in all the different use cases for VPNs that I can think of. So let's see which one comes out on top. First, in a Proton VPN versus NordVPN matchup, which is more secure and trustworthy? Both VPNs belong to established cybersecurity companies, Proton AG and Nord Security. The former is widely known for the current best Gmail replacement, Proton Mail. While Nord Security has products like NordPass under their sleeve, which is one of the best and most trusted password managers. If we look directly under the VPN hoods though, there we can find a lot of similarities. Both VPNs have top-tier encryption protocols to hide your online activity, privacy-friendly jurisdictions, and of course, no logs policies. Basically, they promise to not record or keep any of your data. And they've both got third-party audits to prove it. NordVPN is a bit of an overachiever though, and went in four times for four different audits already. ProtonVPN, on the other hand, can be checked by you. Yeah you, if you have some coding knowledge, that is. The whole of Proton source code is available on GitHub, so the community participates in making this VPN as safe as it can be. I'd give a winning point to Proton VPN here if NordVPN didn't counter that with RAM-based servers, which are designed to not be able to retain data long-term. So both hold themselves to the highest cybersecurity standards on paper, but do they actually work well? Let's do some testing. Checking that is easy. You just need to see if your identifying info, IP and DNS addresses aren't leaking. There are multiple websites for it. The one I like is ipleak.net. First, you just need to go there and run a test on your connection. Then all you need to do is connect to a VPN server and run it again. All the data should be different. And if anything matches your own, the VPN is leaking and it's not actually safe. So guess what I found while testing NordVPN versus ProtonVPN security? Nothing. I did tests in multiple locations across the globe and didn't manage to spot a single leak. So overall, both VPNs will keep your data safe. In case that's the only question you had, just pick your favorite. But if you want a significant discount for either of these VPNs, check either the video description or scan these QR codes to claim exclusive coupon codes. But for those who want to know the main difference between NordVPN versus ProtonVPN, Let's carry on. You can easily spot the first difference just by looking at the two apps. Proton VPN has a more techy vibe, kind of reminds me of the basement hacker stereotype, while NordVPN opted for a more neat look. Sure, it can feel a bit stuffed with features, but at least it's all nicely categorized. Meanwhile, in the Proton VPN app, you have to navigate the server list and make out what all the different icons mean. Like, come on. What kind of beginner is going to look at this globe thingy and say, yeah, I definitely know what that means. Now, there are still a couple of similarities between NordVPN and ProtonVPN, such as the quick connect button that automatically finds the closest and fastest server or the interactive maps. If you want to connect to a specific country, though, just use the search bar as both VPNs cover more than 100 countries with thousands of servers across the map. Overall, the two VPN providers are relatively easy to use, though for complete beginners, I'd lean towards recommending NordVPN. It just feels slightly more intuitive to me. Anyway, you can easily establish a secure connection with both VPN picks, but which will provide a better connection? Well, time to do some more testing. Comparing Proton VPN versus NordVPN speed is very simple. I just needed to run the speed test while connected to different VPN servers and compare them with my baseline internet speed. Both VPNs proved to be fast and the connections were stable but NordVPN proved to be a little faster. That's because of the proprietary NordLynx protocol, which is an updated and improved version of WireGuard. Meanwhile, ProtonVPN relies on OG WireGuard. Now, Proton has a VPN accelerator feature, which is supposed to improve speeds up to 400%, but I don't know where they're getting that percentage from. The speeds don't suddenly become magical. The feature just lets ProtonVPN keep up with NordVPN. Since both VPNs are fast, they're also good to use when streaming. Yet, while I was testing this, NordVPN proved to be a bit more reliable when opening foreign libraries. Not by much, 
but my Proton VPN Netflix access attempts were blocked a few times. Meanwhile, this time NordVPN only stumbled once. For torrenting though, I recommend Proton VPN. Sure, NordVPN has specialized servers that work well for this too, but Proton has port forwarding, a feature meant for faster and more stable downloads. Most VPNs, including NordVPN, say that port forwarding is unsafe and they'll never touch it again. Yet Proton VPN took the time to perfect it and even added some additional security measures. So yeah, I'd recommend trying Proton VPN torrent capabilities first. Speaking of features though, there's more these VPNs can do. I won't expand on things like a kill switch or auto connect. You can find the basics in both VPN apps. My main interest was the additional stuff that's meant for specific use cases like ad blocking. Proton VPN has NetShield, which gets rid of ads and trackers and prevents the browser from loading malicious websites. But NordVPN has Threat Protection Pro. It can do all the same things. In fact, based on the can you block it test I did, it's even slightly better at spotting ads. Yet Threat Protection can also catch malware as you're downloading it. Yeah, like an antivirus would. And while it can't do full PC scans, at least not yet, it lets you upload files to the cloud to check them. Pretty neat. Another feature both VPNs have is Tor integration. It makes your connection as anonymous as possible, but heavily reduces speeds. This feature is very rare, so the fact that both options in this VPN comparison have it? Like, what are the odds? Anyway, NordVPN also offers double VPN servers, while Proton essentially has the same thing, but beefed up. Security core. These servers are fully owned and maintained by Proton VPN, placed in high security data centers, and because of this, for maximum possible privacy assurance, I'd recommend Proton VPN. If you want even more features though, this is where Proton VPN runs out. NordVPN can additionally offer a couple more tools, like MeshNet for secure file sharing, or stuff like remote LAN parties. One thing you need to keep in mind is that not all of the VPN apps are the same and some have more features than others. In both cases, the Windows apps are the most feature packed with Mac VPN applications missing stuff like split tunneling. But again, that's thanks to Apple's restrictions. Other than that, all the important stuff is the same across all platforms. Though NordVPN still has ways to go regarding its Linux app as it still doesn't have a GUI. I mean, come on. Proton did it already, even Surfshark did it, it's not that hard. Anyway, you can easily check and compare apps as this pair of best VPN service picks offer 10 simultaneous connections each. If you're looking to get rid of any device limit entirely and set up a VPN on a router, it's doable, but pretty difficult with both. Thankfully, each provides pretty detailed guides. So we looked at the features and capabilities, but there's still one significant question left, which has better price and value. Well. Proton is the only one that has a free version, so it would have a huge edge here, right? Well, not really. The free version is just kind of there to get a feel for the app, otherwise it's very limited. Only a few server locations are available and the speeds are low since servers are often overcrowded and this Proton version does not support streaming or torrenting at all. So if you want a proper VPN, you have to go premium. Once you look at the price of Proton VPN, NordVPN looks less pricey, but Proton just has one plan with all the features, while NordVPN gives you a few tiers to choose from, with the cheapest one lacking things like threat protection. In the end, I'd recommend choosing based on what features and capabilities you need. Proton VPN will serve torrenters and ultimate anonymity seekers, while NordVPN is unmatched in speed, and it's also great for streaming as well as ad blocking. If you can't make up your mind, each VPN has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can just use this to test both. Just don't forget to grab a discount code from the description, otherwise you'll end up paying much more than you have to. So NordVPN versus ProtonVPN, which is better in your opinion? Let me know in the comments, and while you're on your way there, consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. Cheers, I'll see you next time.